Yeah, congratulations to, to Baylor. Outstanding performance, a, a great team that played great uh, in, in a big moment. Um, so, yeah, good luck to them in Pittsburgh. I think, yeah, they, they've got everything they need to be successful there. And, um, yeah, so congratulations again. Uh, and thank you to the university for hosting us. Everyone's been uh, great. Just really appreciate uh, our time here. Um, yeah, unfortunately, uh, I've been here before, you know, uh, with, with the, uh, Washington. And I'm never prepared for, for when it ends because I believe uh, in this team. And I've, uh, this one was special, though. It's a group of athletes who uh, had to carry a heavy load, you know. And, um, <laughs> excuse me, particularly the senior class, you know, uh, it's hard to do this thing well. It's hard to do it right. There's lots of shortcuts, uh, you know, uh, for athletes and for coaches. And when you do it right, it's difficult. And when, uh, when you commit to growing uh, on and off the court, it's difficult. And, um, yeah, these four seniors, just tremendous, tremendous. Um, I didn't have the words for them out there, but I hope they know how proud of them I am, as well as our, our younger athletes, you know, who grew a lot this season. But a team that, you know, defeated the Pac-12 champions, the Big Ten champions, and the SEC champions, you know, a team that's did a lot over the course of the season, and um, they've got a lot to be proud of. So thank you. Coach, you mentioned it yesterday that um, to get to the Final Four, you've either got to win on your own court or go somewhere else and win. How much, how hard is that to, to, to win on somebody else's court when they've got that kind of crowd support? And, yeah, it's hard everywhere. It, it, mostly it's hard because Baylor was excellent and uh, firing on all cinders offensively, passing the ball well. I thought we served the ball well, particularly in the first set and, and kept us in it. And uh, they steadied out and, and then, um, yeah, it made it a very physical game for us. Um, but yeah, the crowd atmosphere was great, like you'd expect it to be at this stage of the game. Uh, but yeah, Baylor, Baylor had it going. Yeah. Cara, uh, you guys are obviously resilient. I mean, you dropped that first set and come back uh, hard that second set. Coach mentioned the serving. Is that something where you guys can start feeling like you're putting pressure on a team? I mean, Baylor's passing seems, you know, a little out of sorts when they were serving. Yeah, I think that's just something Washington's always had to focus on is serving. And um, you see in the games that we win are the games that we're close in. It's because of the pr server service pressure and because of the passing. And so we knew that if we could get them off the net out of system, which we did a lot of the times, but they did execute pretty well. Ella, uh, just you know, how proud of uh, this team are you and, and you know, what y'all were able to do? Yeah, like I said yesterday, this is something that's been on our mind since the beginning of the season. and. Um, we tried not to say it all the time, but it was for sure always there because we knew that we were capable of it. And um, yeah, I think we um, obviously wanted more, but just how we grew throughout the season, the things we improved on, the things we learned as people and as teammates was, um, wouldn't trade it for the world, so. Coach, really both teams hit real well. You guys only had two blocks. I mean, they didn't have a ton either, but I mean, what was the difference in them hitting at that high in efficiency? Yeah, you know, I was proud of us for hanging in there, you know, for those first two sets, especially when they when they were hitting the lights out and not making a lot of unforced errors. Um, I thought um, that Presley hit him out of trouble quite a few times. You know, in situations where we're used to getting stuff blocks or at least getting opportunities to create and transition, she found the smallest of windows and, and she hit him hard. And um, she caught edges of the block. And, and then at the end of the game, you saw her use her full toolbox. and. Um, so yeah, that negates a lot of the good things we're doing, serving. You know, I thought um, when you have an outside who's doing that, it, it makes it tough. And then when they did good, good passes, I thought both middles were outstanding and um, hit for high efficiencies, hit with range, really put pressure on you. So again, uh, they played great. And, and sometimes your opponents will do that. I thought we played well. I thought we played, um, you know, I thought we represented ourselves really well in, in a lot of phases of the game. Coach, uh, you know, you mentioned Presley. Uh, obviously see a lot of great hitters in the Pac-12. You've got one sitting right next to you. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, where, where does she kind of rank among some of the ones you've seen? Yeah. Uh, right here with this kid, mm -hmm. one, one of the best in the country. You know, there's a, there's a group of them who, um, when they're playing their best, are, are, are something special to see. And, and everyone got to be a part of that tonight. Everyone got to see two 
were three or four pretty outstanding hitters uh, on both sides of the net. And so, yeah, what a great thing for the sport. Um, yeah, fun to be a part of it. You mentioned, obviously, you know, it's, it's hard to find the words for the team that after, after it ends like this. But um, is it something you can continue to build on? Yeah, uh, there's no question that, you know, I, I always wondered what we could do over long periods of time. You know, this is our third Elite Eight in five years. Uh, young players in here are, are, are following the lead of the, of the older players and they're doing it right. So uh, I'm really proud of our culture. I'm proud of our staff and our players. And um, there's no question that if we're good for long enough that, that our moment will come. And, um, yeah, total confidence in that. Same kind of question I asked Ella. I mean, just how proud of, of this team are you? Um, <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, it's just been a it's been a journey every single year, and a new group of, um, a new group comes in, and you learn how to mesh with them, and it's a new year every single time. And this year was special just because I feel like we had a pretty good bond and. Um, the other teammates in my class, we took on this leadership role and we were really close and we just enjoyed our time. And I think that's what's most important is liking where you are and the people that are around you. And so that's, I think that's why something like this is so hard. It's just because you're, you're saying goodbye to something that was so big in your life for so long.